I've struggled with this my whole life. Just made me so insecure. It's life changing. Thank you, Dr. Leibowitz. All right, so Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center. So we have a local guy. He's in his early 20s. He's from Nueva York. That's New York uh, in, uh, in Spanish. Uh, is it Spanish? It's I something think so. Nueva York. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But it's something of that nature. So um, I'm Dr. Leibowitz. I'm Dr. Leibowitz. I'm Dr. Leibowitz. <laughs> your Long Island, uh, your world-renowned gynecomastia specialist. So this young man, he um, he's got gyno. So he's skinny. He's young. He's skinny. He's fit. Uh, probably just looking at him doesn't really work out. Doesn't really go to the gym. Kind of eats what he wants yeah. to. Pizza, halal, halal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, halal, pizza, you know, eats what he wants to eat and just can't get, can't get fat. I think it's just genetic, I think, unlike Garrison and me, that uh, we eat and uh, we get... We pay for it. We get jefe. <laughs> we get gordo. What? Nothing. But uh, you and, and, and Lewis here, I don't think you guys can gain weight at all. So he's got gyno, and you know, it's not, no pro-hormones, no steroids, probably puberty, kind of 13, 14 year old, he started to, to get it. And, and, and if you squeeze it, it's, it's kind of fatty gland. It's really not um, that hard rock gland that I kind of see, it's kind of fat, but you can kind of see where it bothers him. The head, the uh, ground zero, the head a little bit of it, the tail that goes to the edge of the pectoralis major muscle. So through a small self incisions where the water meets the beach, again, my, all my stitches are internal, self-absorbing. And you gotta look, when you look at post-op results, you gotta look at two things, not just flat, but you want defined. You want some bulk up on the top, you want defined here. Um, and you want to look at the scar. You got to look at the quality of the scar because I use all internal stitches. The scar is unbelievably perfect, especially in darker skinned people. You've got to be OCD about your stitches, all internal, all perfect. Um, he will not need a drain. Um, at least I don't think so. You never know, but, but I don't think he will. And I want to get this out to absolute perfection, obviously on both sides. And I'll see him at 24 and then 48 hours uh, later, or tomorrow, which is uh, Thursday, and even Saturday if it makes it easier for you. Um, but we'll, you know, I'm always working, always uh, available 24 7. So um, we're going to get this gynecomastia gland out. Perfect result. He's not only going to be flat, but he's going to be, I'll lift with my quilting stitches, lift this up so he looks nice and full and athletic, not just flat, but he wants to be athletic. Um, he wants to be, <clears throat> right? Do that, do that. There you go, he wants to be there. That's the hint of, of the person I see. And he's gonna eat good, he's eating good, or will eat good, and I want him to go to the gym, build up a little muscle up there, right? Yep. Got it. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna mark him, numb him, and to the OR we go. So we squeeze the shaman, I can feel we're getting underneath the gland. He's already numb, so I'm right underneath it with my needle. I push my button, I push the thing, my foot pedal, Double and beat. what do we do? We pump you, we pump you, you up. up. We'll pump you up. All right, so he's all numb, all perfect. He's awake, which is what I do all the time. I do not, I do not put people to sleep. Uh, this is just not needed. And because of my technique, my, my technologies, and my personality, my shining personality, I don't need to. So, beautiful where the water meets the beach. Already pre-marked. Go right there. Nice gland. Oh, I think it's good. Hey, you know, it's gotta be a little fatty. I th it's not hard, but you know something? You know, you, you, you gotta, re re you, you never anticipate the gland, it's, you know.
So what I'm doing now, I separate it from the muscle. Got a little gauze in there just to soak up a little bit of the fluid uh, because I hydrate, I, I hydro dissect it. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of gland right now underneath the nipple. Um, notice I'm not taking like blindly going like that. And I'm doing it perfectly and exactly. So here is, here's Mr. Gland. And again, it's, it's, it's fatty, but look how perfect it is. And look how, it's like non-bloody. It's like, you know, it's like a cat. We could put this up on the shelf and it'll behave like a cat. <laughs> Except you don't have to feed it and it won't poop in a box. Okay, so, side one is kind of done. I did like 90%, 80% of the stuff. We're gonna look in there again. But instead of going crazy on this side and then starting on this side, we're gonna let this side rest, you know, let it air out and rest. Now we're gonna uh, start on this side and, and make this side perfect like uh, we just did. So again, where the water meets the beach. There you go. This is side two. Oh, yeah. It's hump day. So this is a cautery. What it does, it, it's, it's, it's electrical current. It's like J plasma with the helium gas it turns on. It's the same thing. But this one actually is a, um, um, what do you call it? It's 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 just a cautery. So I put it in there. It stops any bleeders, and also will dehydrate. Instead of cutting out the fat and making it making an indentation. Um, so if you look here, watch this little fat cup goblet. See? So I'm not only stopping any little bleeder but I'm making the inside perfect. You have no lumps and bumps. I can go on the side and make sure that that's perfect. So what I do now, grab a little bit of the skin from up on top, not the skin, the undersurface, and grab a little bit of the muscle, right like that. It's really not the muscle, it's the covering of the muscle. And beautifully stitch this. Again, I just wanna, don't want a flat chest. I want a lifted athletic chest.
this is the way it's supposed to look. All internal, all internal, nothing showing. This is how he's gonna get a phenomenal, phenomenal look. Not the external stitches. This is the way you do. And look at these scars. You know, you have somebody who says, oh, I do this. Just look at their scars and look at my scars. Compare anybody else's scars to mine. Mine will be the best. Because I take my time in putting it all internal. So Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center. This is my famous gland in hand. Keep the glands on, or you can, you can do unsafe gland in hand. But, um, uh, I'll be quiet. Let's get the reaction. Hold on. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> he said this is crazy. This is crazy. He said what? So it feels like, like, fucking chicken, chicken meat. Chicken meat. He says it tastes like it Probably tastes like chicken too. <laughs> I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. So this is gland in hand. This is the cathartic, cathartic release of, this is what he's suffered with. He's been suffering. This is what he's been suffering with and it's out and he's, he's, he's come on, throw it in the ground, chop it up. Give it, give it a, come on, chop it like you mean it. And when he's done, we're gonna put a little hot sauce on there. We put that on everything. I squeeze that on everything. So it's 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 fibrous and fat. Boy, you're doing your. I've seen I've seen people taking out glands like that. Actually, don't cut your fingers. I'm gonna get you. How did you get this? You got you got this out with these. Yeah. It's so slippery. It's, it's hard to cut. I know. Shit. Yes. It's disgusting. Disgusting. This is gland in hand. So call me. You. I'm speaking to you there, right there, hiding in that triple T-shirt hoodie, right there. I'm talking to you. Call me. No reason to aggravate about it or stand up straight and, and do what you want to do. Dr. Leibowitz, 631-424-0101, 631-424-0101, where I will take care of you, I promise, or email me, John from Leibowitz, MD, at gmail.com, where gynecomastia is my middle name. <laughs>